Hi, children's author Kia Holt here with another training session on how to underline in WordPress for your SEO score to recognize it. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to go into one of my blogs that I've already written that has not been published yet. Um, I'll pick this one right here and I'll go into my edit screen. And my keyword on this particular blog is terrorism and you can see that I have it in my SEO uh, keyword right there and my score is only in the 80s. <laughs> You're probably thinking, only in the 80s? <laughs> well, there's the standby for some more training. Right now I just have a lot of um, people that want to know how to underline and be recognized because <laughs> most everybody can uh, do it but usually get the red X at the bottom here. We're going to change that and we're going to make your scores jump really high. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and find a word, one of the um, keywords that um, I've used that uh, really I haven't. Um, I'm going to pick this one right here, terrorism. It's actually in italics right now, but I'm going to change that to underline it. So this changes, and so does this. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the text tab, which has been changed recently. Um, it used to be HTML, which, same thing. So we're going to click on that tab up here. It's going to take us in the HTML mode. I'm going to find that spot again in this weird looking page. It has all these different symbols and stuff. Um, don't worry about that. Just um, go ahead and find it. Uh, find it in your text. And I'm going to find it real quick and I'll show you what to do to underline. Alright, here's my keyword right here and you'll notice in front and behind it it's got these weird symbols and what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase the EM and we're going to put a U in there for underline. So I'm going to delete those two, put a U in there and then at the end of this you have alligator U, alligator terrorism, alligator forward slash and then I'm going to delete the EM here as well and put a U. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and let me get that out. Kind of blurry. Sorry about that, guys. But I'm going to save my draft. Now watch the score as I click this button. And also keep your eye on this red X down here. Voila score is only 84.44 because my keyword density isn't that high. I'm going to go in and, and tweak it a little bit more to get a higher score than that because that's not that's not good enough for me. But to you guys it might be like, wow, that's a pretty good score. Well, it is when you don't have this here, but uh, not so much when you do. So we're gonna I'm going to work on this blog a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to underline in your WordPress Empower Network blog and have it recognize it. So there you have it. If you find a keyword that's not, doesn't have the alligator teeth in front and back, you just basically um, watch this video again and see how it looks and all you have to do in your in your um, blog is just put it in there. So hope that helps. Um, happy blogging and stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about how to insert photos and videos and all that fun stuff um, and we'll make sure that you know make sure you can get a really high score guarantee it alright till next time have a wonderful day